Okay, so this is Lunner for January 1st. So we're going to keep it real because what is this? None of this looks great, I'm sure, because I feel like food doesn't translate the best. But all three of these are leftovers from this week and everyone is gone except for me. <laughs> they went to his dad's to do some Christmas and New Year's visiting, so I'm going to heat these up for myself, and I'm going to eat these, and uh, when they get home, they can snack around until whatever, because there are left, there is actually more leftovers like this in the fridge. Um, there's somebody had some Chinese food and brought it home, hmm, and they can finish their Chinese food, so the girls have like broccoli and chicken and I think he has some general stoves or something so they can all finish that. So, hey, aren't we just keeping it real? This is leftovers. These are, this escaped, this right here escaped the the leftover stew that I made. Oh my gosh, that was so good. This would have been great in the leftover stew too because it's got a bunch of meat in it. But that is what's for Lunner on New Year's Day. Woohoo! Okay, so for dinner on Sunday, January 1st, we are having Sloppy Joe's. It would be real helpful if I got this meat out, right? This fresh ground pork, which I got on at Duma's this week, was $1.99. 79 cents at Aldi's. I thought they had the regular Mamwich brand, which I would have sprung a whole dollar for, but they didn't. So we're going to try this today. Wow. Um, and then I have real hamburger buns because I feel like this just goops right through a regular bread and I can't do that. These are 85 cents. And then I'm going to throw these in the oven for 45 minutes beforehand and we're all going to have a baked sweet potato with brown sugar and a little bit of butter, margarine. So that is what's for dinner on Sunday the 1st. Happy New Year! Okay, for dinner on Monday, January 2nd, we are having cube steak sandwiches. And these are on super fantastic white bread, just like at your mom's house growing up. I also pulled this pack of thin chops because I think there might only be two. One, two, no, nah, there's probably three in here just in case. So, and I probably don't need that. Anyway, I'm going to fall this and I'm going to keep this in, in backup just in case. I think there are, there's one here, two here, there's three here. So I'll get one, he'll get one, and then the kids will split because there are two. So, <laughs> um, these are so good. I'm just going to fry them in the pan, uh, with a little bit of, I'm going to, I'm not going to dredge them. I'm not going to use flour and egg. I'm just going to use flour, just going to dip them in flour, whatever sticks to the wetness of the, the pork, and then salt and pepper in that mix, and it is uncommonly good. It should not be good for as many ingredients as you're putting in it. It's like nothing. Also, along with that, I'm going to be doing cubed potatoes. Oh, isn't this awesome? Look, I finally got my potatoes in their container. Um, I'm going to cube them. I'm going to coat them with a little bit of this awesome Aldi's oil, some Italian seasoning. This is from Gordon Food Service, and you can see I've, I've used a lot of it. This was like $9, $9.99, uh, Sprinkle this on and bake that for 45 minutes to an hour, and that is going to be the side dish with that. That is what we're having for dinner on Monday, January 2nd. Okay, so this is for dinner on Tuesday, January 3rd. So we are doing a plain pork chop, which means I don't have any kind of Italian or barbecue or rub, whatever. I do have some seasoning on this, but this is just salt and pepper and a little bit of oil on it. So, um, and mostly my family likes this every once in a while because they like to eat, to dip it in their barbecue sauce, but... Well, it's time for true confessions of no spend January. We had some pork loin roast last week, which you will, you know, they got into the barbecue sauce and oh man, 
they used all of it, dude. And so now they don't have any. It's very sad. So I'm not shopping again before I use this meal. So it may be in order to cause or to circumvent any kind of terrible World War Three like dinner things. I may do something like swap this meal for this meal. It's all the same stuff, just the day of it. Because on Friday I go shopping and I might be able to pick up barbecue sauce if it's in my budget. My $20 weekly budget. So, um, that's the purpose of this. But this week is delicious stovetop. Do you wonder when I bought this? Got this at Target. It's a dollar. And I got used my... my team member discount was 85 cents or something so um 79 cents was the chief or chef carlin if you could get it uh but every time i went to find it it was out at save a lot so and then our vegetable is going to be green beans you're going to notice i'm eating a lot of green beans this week and the reason is uh that's the vegetable that i have right now uh you know one of the things that was short on my no spend january list was my vegetables i think i was like six vegetables short um so right now i have a lot of green beans but green beans are my my personal favorite so i love these lovely little beanie weenies uh so that's what we're having for that and it doesn't hurt my feelings that we are going to have green beans like five times this week so that is dinner for tuesday Okay, so this is for dinner on Wednesday, January 4th. I am having Italian boneless chops. This is going to go right into the crock pot. Um, there are probably five or six chops in here. You can kind of see I've got pitted olives. I just wanted to, I felt like you just can't hardly see what's in here. There is diced tomatoes from Aldi's, which is the kind that has the oregano, garlic, and um, basil. Basel, darling, Basel. Sorry, I have an issue with that. Um, also makes me think of Basil Rathbone. He was the bad guy in Robin Hood. Anyway, now that I've had that total side tangent, and then I throw in one of these, which is 50 cents, and it kind of seasons everything. So what I like to do is, if you put the, the tomatoes in, and dump this in, and then give it a good slosh so that this gets well distributed and starts to uh, melt in, then I put the meat in and swish it all around again so it's getting swished some more. Wow, you probably don't need to see that swish all around. But uh, the, then the meat gets co or coated better and also, um, like I said, this just gets mixed in more. This is, if you put it in the oven, it's at like an hour, uh, hour and 15 minutes if it's solid frozen. If it, you put it in the fridge, 45 minutes. Um, but this can go directly into the crock pot on low all day. Happy times. Oh, and this comes from the Dollar Tree, Mary, the Dollar Tree, and it is 20 cents cheaper than Aldi's. Heads up. Okay, so this is dinner for Thursday, dis or January. Oh my gosh, it's January. Oh Lord. January 5th. Chicken leg quarters. Put these in the freezer. I want to say maybe two weeks ago I got them at Dumas. They were 59 cents a pound. Yay! And there are five or six. There's maybe there's four in here. Five. There's five in here. There's there's gonna be five legs in here. I'm just gonna put it in a glass dish. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on it, salt and pepper. That's gonna be great for this. On the side, I'm going to have buttered noodles butter noodles uh, I may sprinkle on some garlic or maybe I'll fry up a little onion in this because onion and garlic never made anything taste bad well except maybe chocolate or something but this is really good um and then also we are going to have corn muffins uh, cornbread these are super delicious and everyone in my family really really likes them uh, and I do have an egg, and hopefully I will have almond milk for this. If not, I just use water for it because, well, I don't drink regular milk. So, that is dinner for Thursday, January 5th. Okay, so dinner for Friday, December 6th, is going to be taco nacho meal. I'm going to use one pound of fresh ground pork, which is $1.99. This was $0.80 cents at Aldi's. This was 60 cents at Aldi's. This is 35 cents at Aldi's. 
and it's all going over this delicious bag of chips which was a dollar 19 so uh, what I do is I just make the taco meat just like you do according to this and then we just throw it all on top of our chips because we just eat too many taco shells so this is actually cheaper than buying two rounds of taco shells and there's plenty sometimes we even have some leftover so this is what's for dinner on Friday December 6th okay so this is for lunchtime on Saturday December 7th we are going to be having hamburgers you can see I got these I want to say I even got these at Aldi's um, marked down three dollars off so I paid two dollars and 44 cents for this it's a pound and a half yay there are four good sized burgers in here uh, so Chris and I will each have one and it may even be that the girls split one depends on how big they are when they get out but there's one good sized hamburger for each of us so in this no spend January one of the things that we're doing is we're using up whatever we have first these two hamburger buns are in the freezer they're gonna get used first and then of course I have hamburger buns here so maybe as we keep rolling through no spend January I will have you know like two hamburgers two hamburgers and enough for another hamburger meal to maybe not have to buy hamburger buns but that's what I'm having for this we're going to have mashed potatoes which will be delicious and this week we're gonna have corn with that because corn and mashed potatoes are Chris's favorite combination okay so this is for dinner on December 7th I'm going to be making meatloaf with green beans and Jiffy Corn Muffins. So what I have here is um, there was the five pound chub of ground beef that was on sale. It's the extra fatty kind which is just right for meatloaf. So I have two pounds of that here. Obviously I'm going to use two or three eggs and I'm going to use some breadcrumbs and I will probably just throw them in the toaster and let them sit in the fridge overnight to make toast. Um, this needs an egg and it calls for milk but a lot of times I just use water although I may have some almond milk to do on that but this makes six muffins so it's perfect for like the kids to get two or the kids to each get one and then me and him to get two and then of course the green beans. So. That is dinner. Ah!